everybody. It's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer. And guess what? I got a listing. And if you're in Houston, you're going to want to pay attention because I'm going to show you how to put one in the MLS. So I've got one. It's going live today. We're going to put it in. So let's do it. We're going to click on, we're going to go ahead and log into HAR to our members only portal. We're going to go into matrix. So we're going to click that pink button and go right into matrix. Hover over matrix add edit. Click on matrix add edit. And then we're going to click on this blue words add new. So I'm going to click on add new. You're going to pick which category your house is in. I'm going to click on single family add edit because mine's single family and then we're going to click on the county that our listing is in and we're going to search by the property address put the numbers and the street click search and then it pulls up the property that we're working on we're going to click fill is it active or coming soon status information here okay listing information exclusive right to sell Listing date is today, expires, everything in yellow you have to fill in. All right, these are tabs at the top, so we have to go to each tab and make sure we have all the required information. So I'm going to the next tab. Instead of putting in latitude and longitude, I'm just going to click get latitude, longitude from address, pulls it in, and then I'm going to change the Google Street View because it's not pulling in on my actual property that I want to highlight. And so now I've changed the Google Street View. This information will auto populate it later. I'm going to go to property information. I'm going to put appraisal district, appraisal district, one story. It is not new construction, appraisal district. It is two to five acres on this particular property. It doesn't have any of these things. It does have an attached garage, freestanding. So you're going to go through and everything in yellow you have to fill out. The stuff that's not in yellow, standard home information, you will want to fill that out. Okay, I have everything in yellow is required. I do think we're required to put some dimensions in here. I'll come back to that later. This property does not have an HOA. I do own this house, so I'm going to put that I am the agent owner. You're going to put that in disclosures. It is not a 55 plus financing considered. It's not a yellow required field, but you should put it. There is no uh, maintenance fee, no other fees. That is it for this tab. Showing information. This is my info. License supervisor. Put it in there so you don't have people calling you. You know what? I think I'm going to use showing smart. Let me go look that number up. I'm just putting in the property directions here. I don't have photos yet or any kind of property description. I am going to put agent owner in the remarks. You know this will change because I'm just writing my thoughts down on this and then my actual physical property description will be a little better after I do this. Got my trusty husband here helping me write a description because he writes better than I do. Hey Josh. He doesn't like to be on video. Anyway, we are about to go live with this listing. I don't have pictures on, but my next video, I'll show you how to put the pictures on. So I'm going to click validate. It's going to tell me I have wrong information in some places. So I have wrong information here and wrong information here. So let me go look at it. Oh, I missed some yellow blanks. I guess it's section one. There's no, literally no section. Okay, let me go back to rooms. Oh, I need dimensions. Let me go find those. All right. So um, if you click on these little things, it will tell you. So I had to put the number of garages. I'm going to put the uh, primary bedroom and these other bedrooms. This house has got some big bedrooms. I measured this before when I listed this for rent. That's where I'm taking the measurements. I'm taking it off of an old list. You can see I have them on one of my old listings where this house was for rent. So I'm just taking my measurements because I actually went and measured these. So I'm not just making these numbers up. And I believe that is all. I did not measure the bathrooms and I don't know the size of the porch. All right, so that should be it. Let's validate. And we have nothing wrong here. So let's go ahead and submit the listing. So now I have an MLS number. You can add showing instructions to showing smart and add your virtual open houses and add photos, add or edit your photos. And you can add and edit attachments with these buttons. Right now I am going to add my showing instructions to showing smart. I just needed to sign in. Okay, approval type, go and show, home status, today, Okay, so we've got all of our showings in there. 
and I've got my notifications on. So this was pretty easy. This is my first time using Showing Smart. So now I'm just going to click on Save Showing Instructions. It says it is saved. We've got our default form. Let's review that and make sure. All right. I like it. So it looks like it's saved. All right, now I'm done. My listing should be on MLS. Here it is. This is what it looks like. And I've got it in Showing Smart. So go show my property.